Brackish waterfish are fish that aren't regularly kept in our hobby. No one likes being in the middle. Whether you were a middle child or even middle class, the middle can flat out suck. That's what these fish are, in the middle of freshwater and saltwater. That doesn't mean they're boring though. In fact, there are a number of really exciting species that you would really enjoy having in your tank. We will highlight in today's video the 15 best types of brackish water fish. Are you ready for another awesome topic, fish keepers? If you are, get ready, because we're about to dive into the wonders only here at Aquarium Store Depot. Fish that are brackish are indigenous to areas where freshwater and saltwater coexist. Around the world, coastal regions are home to these ecosystems, especially where rivers and streams converge with the ocean. Estuaries are a particular kind of this habitat. However, brackish coastal lakes are also found. Brackish water's salinity fluctuates according to the tides and other elements like river water levels. These brackish water fish species must therefore either migrate with the water or be able to adjust to these unpredictable circumstances. Since brackish fish are classified as urihaline species, they are able to adapt to a variety of salinities. Maintaining an aquarium that is brackish has numerous benefits. Probably the most evident is that there are some incredibly beautiful brackish fish species. Several species that are marketed as freshwater fish are actually brackish. The brackish habitat offers a fascinating underwater world, aside from the fish themselves. For those who began with a tropical freshwater tank, a brackish water environment presents an intriguing new challenge. I know you can't wait to meet the brackish water fish we included in this video. So without having to make you wait any longer, let's get on with the list. Presenting you the 15 best types, starting with our first one, the molly fish. Molly fish are highly adaptable fish that can be kept in anything from hard fresh water all the way to full marine conditions. In fact, these inexpensive live bearers thrive in brackish conditions. There are a few different species and many different breeds available in the fish keeping hobby. Check out my complete guide for more details on these awesome beginner brackish aquarium fish. Care for molly fish is a task that almost anyone can accomplish. They're a fantastic option for anyone looking to start fish keeping because they don't need a lot of maintenance to be healthy. The majority of molly fish may thrive in tanks as small as 20 gallons. Up to four mollies can live in that recommended tank size. But if you have more room, a bigger tank is always appreciated. All right, going back, this next fish will make you act goofy in excitement of getting them. Meet the guppy fish. Guppies are the smaller, more colorful cousins of the molly fish. These popular live bearers are one of the most common species in the aquarium trade. They're available in an amazing variety of shapes and colors, and they're really easy to breed in the home aquarium. The guppy fish is usually thought of as a freshwater fish species, but they can be kept in brackish water as well. Guppies don't require a large tank to keep because of their tiny, tiny size. So as little as five gallons will suffice to sustain a trio in an environment. However, we do advise using a 10 gallon tank or more for the best results. Third brackish fish we've got here are the Endler's Live Bearers. The Endler's Live Bearer is another great nano brackish fish. These hardy fish thrive in brackish environments, even though they're usually kept in freshwater. The males of these tiny fish are much smaller and more colorful than that of the females. So if you don't want them to breed, males are the better choice. Endler's Live Bearer should not be kept with large fish or aggressive tank mates. It's not necessary to be a skilled aquarium keeper to take care of the Endler's Live Bearer. Similar to their more widely known guppy relatives, these freshwater fish are among the easiest to keep. Both novices and experienced fish keepers alike will love them. For this fish, a well-decorated tank is essential. The natural habitats they live in are abundant with plants and algae. This next fish does not know archery, but knows how to pierce your heart with their natural beauty. Wave hello to the archer fish. Archer fish are brackish fish species with a fascinating hunting technique. In their natural habitat, these intelligent fish spit water at insects on leaves and tree branches above the water. This knocks the prey onto the water surface where the fish can get to it. Pretty neat, huh? They'll also take regular flake food and do great in larger brackish water aquariums. These fish are generally peaceful with other fish, but can be a little nippy with other archer fish unless kept in groups of four or more. They prefer to live in shoals or groups where they may roam around and forage for food. They prefer to be in large groups or on occasion, smaller groups of five or less fish with similar body types in their schools. Going fifth on the list is the scatfish. 
The physical features of this brackish fish remind me of a leopard. I mean, just look at these two. I guess you could say this scat is a cat. Okay, anyway, scats are large and beautiful brackish water aquarium fish. These spotted fish look amazing in schools and large aquariums. These curious fish make wonderful pets and are easy to feed and care for. The secret is to keep them in groups of at least four fish, maintain excellent water quality in a large enough tank, and always make sure their water is in the preferred salinity range. Jumping onto our sixth fish, it may mean one, but when you put a group in your tank, the mono fish will appear one of a kind. These beautiful silvery fish are very fast and very active, so they require a large aquarium with plenty of swimming space. They make great tank mates for other brackish fish like scats, although they do equally well in full marine tanks. Monofish can be skittish and are known to be fin nippers too, so they're best left to expert aquarists. The Mono Argentis breeds in ocean seawater. However, it's unknown how the sexes differ in terms of breeding practices. As fish get older, a gradual transition from brackish to saltwater will enhance their color and overall health. The Mono consumes a lot of plant materials in the wild, Give them some lettuce, brine shrimp, dried seaweed, and some high quality flake food. Seventh brackish fish on the list is the green spotted puffer that may look new to you. Puff your eyes wide, fish keepers, because the green spotted puffer is an amazing brackish water aquarium fish for more experienced fish keepers. These active puffers can be kept with other fish in a community setup, but they should be the only puffer fish in the tank to avoid aggression. Pufferfish have beak-like teeth that grow continuously. The disposition of each green-spotted puffer differs greatly from the next, just like that of all pufferfish. Their semi-aggressive nature is well known, and they are often left alone. Nonetheless, they can live in a colony with other animals of the same species, as well as bigger, less hostile fish. You may be jealous with our next brackish fish because it has a figure unlike any other. Meet the figure eight puffer. The figure eight pufferfish is an awesome species that can be kept in both fresh and brackish water conditions. They get their name from the interesting markings on their backs. These little fish are generally peaceful, but they are known to nip at the fins of slow moving tank mates. For those looking for a fish that's a little different for their tank, the figure eight pufferfish is a fantastic choice. They have a distinct appearance with a lot of personality and require very little maintenance. Naturally, there are a few things you should know before purchasing one you must make sure that they're in a tank with fish that can hold their own, because they can be quite aggressive. Additionally, they require a high diet and live food, which may not be everyone's preference. The ninth fish called Bumblebee Goby will literally transform your life. These nanofish are best for a small species only tank. They get their name from their bold black and yellow colors. This fish can be a bit of a picky eater and they generally prefer live food. The bumblebee goby can be a little aggressive with other members of its own species, so it's best to keep at least six together to prevent anyone from getting singled out. A brackish aquarium with plenty of hiding spaces is ideal for the bumblebee goby. Another goby on the list is the dragon goby, the brackish fish that will ignite the fire in your tank. The dragon goby is a strange eel-like fish. Dragon gobies are actually a whole lot more peaceful than they look or sound though. They are not known to bother or eat smaller fish, although they can be semi-aggressive to other members of their own species. The dragon goby can grow really long, so they should be kept in large tanks. Next on our awesome list of brackish fish is the orange chromide. Orange chromides can be kept in both fresh and brackish waters. This beautiful fish requires great water quality, so regular aquarium maintenance is very important. They're peaceful, but will eat very small fish if they can catch them. Provide your orange chromides with a varied diet that includes both meaty foods and plant matter. We've already featured this 12th fish on the list on other videos, but let us meet the Crubensis. Crubensis cichlids are usually kept in freshwater tanks, but they can survive in slightly brackish water too. These fish have beautiful colors and bold horizontal stripes that can really brighten up your tank. These beautiful West African cichlids are very peaceful except when breeding. It is best to keep a single pair with other fish in a community tank. Jumping on our 13th fish, the Golden Wonder Killifish that will spark a gold rush in your tank. The Golden Wonder Killifish or Striped Panchax is another great species that can be kept in either fresh or slightly brackish water. These predatory fish will eat smaller fish, 
So, they should only be kept with similarly sized fish. These hardy and adaptable killifish spend most of their time at the top of the tank. This next fish might sound unfamiliar, so let us know more about the banded banjo catfish. The banded banjo catfish is a nocturnal fish with a very unusual body shape. These fish aren't the most active or exciting to watch, but they still make a great oddball specimen for a brackish tank. They make great community fish, but should not be kept with very small fish that could be swallowed whole. And finally, we have the Colombian shark catfish. The Colombian shark catfish is not an aggressive fish, but it will swallow any smaller fish that it can catch. These are large fish, so they should not be purchased unless you have plenty of room. One important thing to know is that their fins have venomous spines that can cause serious pain and swelling. This means you should be very careful about handling these fish. Listen, I know that for some newbies in this hobby, taking care of these incredible fish might sound a bit difficult. But the good news is, it's actually not. All you have to do is find the right website. Which one? Of course, that would be our official website. When you visit www.aquariumstoredepot.com on your browser, you'll get to see the various informative blogs, including topics that will further discuss the tank setup, care guidelines, and answers to the frequently asked questions regarding the brackish fish we featured on this list. Sounds pretty great, right? Also, don't hesitate to give us a comment in this video or share your thoughts about this list of the fish we've highlighted for today's topic. See, it will no doubt produce a wonderful result if we all know how to balance things out in our lives, just like how Mother Nature balances fresh and salt water to give birth to the brackish fish we've had. All we really have to do is take care of them at all costs and save nature as much as we can.